All right, this is our 2021 Honda Ridgeline. It's the RTL-E trim level. It has 38,500 miles on it, and I'm due for an oil change. Check out the video description, and you will find a bunch of helpful links to um, parts and tools that I use that you can buy on Amazon. I'll put helpful information like torque specs and socket sizes and filter sizes and all that kind of information in the video description. Uh, this is harder to do after it's jacked up, but this is where we're going to add the oil at right here. So while it's on the ground, I'm going to break that free. So while it's on the ground, we'll put this funnel in there. It goes right in here. And then just to keep debris from getting in there while I'm working, I'm just going to leave that rag in right there so that when it's jacked up, I'm not having to kind of see over that. And then this is our dipstick, our oil dipstick, this, this orange. So what I'm going to do is just break that free as well, just so there's a little bit of airflow in there so that when we drain the oil, it'll drain a little faster. So our next step is gonna to be to remove this tire because as you'll see, we're gonna need this to access our oil filter and our oil. So even if you weren't doing a tire rotation, you would still want to take this tire off, but I always do the tire rotation with the oil change. So that's gonna be my next step to remove that wheel. All right, so we're gonna start by taking off this wheel. So remember these are already loosened, so I'm going to use a, a impact gun just to get them off the rest of the way. Okay, so come on over this way. This is why we do this. Even if you're not rotating the tires, it gives you access to your oil filter right here. This blue thing is our oil filter. And then our oil drain bolt, I'll show you later, is on under there. So that's going to be our next job to take that off. Okay, so what happens when we got some plastic sheeting? We have something to catch our oil when we get to that, when we take that filter off. We also cut a little piece of plastic sheeting because this oil filter, when we loosen it, it's gonna drip oil on this metal bar right here. So I'm gonna take this sheeting, I'm gonna wrap that bar right under the filter a little bit, just to, help with the cleanup and I think I'm gonna need a little more than that so all right so I grab my scissors I'm just gonna gonna cut some off here of the plastic sheeting bit more work now help me uh, not have to clean up as much later all right so there's our oil pan under there for this oil filter I like to use one of these kind of strap style uh, they're thin you can kind of get it under there I'll put links to all the parts I use in the description so you can get the right size so you always got to think on these uh, which way you're trying to go with it so um, 
think I'm gonna want to go this way to loosen. Yep. All right. I'm loosening. I'm gonna go ahead and get my wrench out before it gets oil all over it. Get a rag ready. And loosen it up till it starts to drip. Okay, it's dripping. so that it be lubricated. So I'm gonna get it on there. On that new filter, I can just hand tighten. Now I can get that messy plastic off there. Get rid of this glove. Wipe up anything that made it past the plastic. Before I go any farther, I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean this up and get me a new glove on before I keep working with the oil. Change this one also since it ripped when I was tightening the filter. Alright, so entering in here, I'm going to show you where the oil drain bolt is. Okay, so that you can see our blue oil filter up there. So then under there... You come over here and it's this bolt right here this is your oil pan and this is the oil drain bolt so that's what we're working on we're going to be taking that off letting the oil drain and then we'll be replacing the crush washer and torquing it back down so that's what we're going to do now wanted you to see the location so you could find it because i'm not going to be able to have the video under the car here it takes a 17 millimeter socket to loosen so I've got one of those here, but then once I get it broke free, I'm gonna experiment. I bought this um, magnetic socket, which I have on this one. So once I get it broke free with this, I'm gonna use this magnetic socket in hopes that when it breaks free, that drain bolt will stick to the socket and not fall down in the oil pan. But if it does fall down, all I gotta do is get it out of here. So, so I'm gonna pause and Put some better gloves on over the top of these so that my knuckles don't get all messed up. And then I also need to kind of position myself differently to be able to get this, I think. Also, we've got to remember this oil is going to shoot back this way, so I want to get my pan where it's kind of going to catch it if it shoots back a little way. There we 
there it goes and the magnetic socket worked it stayed in there so now I'm just going to get this ready and just keep it from dripping everywhere get that oil off my tool but that worked exactly like I hoped. So there's the crush washer stayed on there. So we'll reuse the bolt and we'll um, change out the crush washer. So there's the crush washer we'll take off. That's our old one. So now throw that, throw that away. This is our new one right here. These are a 14 millimeter crush washer. So we'll put that on there so it's ready to go. At this point, all the oils have come out. We've got our new drain plug there. And I need my torque wrench. You could just snug it up, but the manual says 30 foot-pounds. So I have a torque wrench here, and it's set to 30 foot-pounds. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that. So I'll take... Take this socket off there. Put it on this one so I'll have that ready. I just wanna, I wanna start it by hand. Never, always like starting things by hand so I can feel that I'm threading it right. All right, so I get a good clean surface. I'm gonna get my bolt in there. Got my crush washer on there. Okay, so yeah, sometimes it's hard just getting them started because sometimes you can't tell if you're going in straight or not. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it by hand until it's snug. And then I'm just gonna go straight to the torque wrench on this. All right, I'm going to move my oil pan out of my way. Okay. I got my socket on there. Okay, I heard that torque wrench click as soon as you hear that the first time you stop because that means you're at 30 and you don't want to over torque it that's the whole idea of using the torque wrench stop when you hear that first click all right so so we have changed our filter and we have drained all the oil and we have our new crush washer and our drain bowl in place. So, all we have to do now is put oil in it. We don't want to forget that. It takes 5.7 quarts. So I already have my funnel in place. I'm going to go get my oil. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. It's 5.7 quarts. 0 W20. So this is five quarts and I have this picture where I've marked and I have another 0.7 in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do this 0.7 first. All right, first All right, 
So I'm gonna take my rag, catch the bottom of this funnel as soon as I pick it up so I don't drip oil everywhere. All right, nice and clean. I don't see any drips. So we just kind of snug that up a little bit. And then we're gonna push our dipstick back in. Now I've already done this. I already know that 5.7 is exactly what it needs, just like the manual says. So I don't need to worry about checking the dipstick after I drive it and stuff like that. That's good to do the first time you do an oil change on a vehicle. Like say if it says 5.7, maybe you put in 5.4, drive the vehicle, let it sit for 10 or 20 minutes and then check the dipstick level and get it perfect and write down what you did. I've already uh, done that with uh, these Honda V6s. So when they say 5.7, that's, that's exactly what we end up needing. All right, so our oil change is done. Okay, so now we're gonna reset our maintenance minder after our oil change. So let's see what we got here. Okay, I'm gonna go to the main menu there. Um, settings. vehicle scroll to the bottom maintenance info okay oil life is that 40 percent i want to reset that would you like to reset maintenance information reset okay 